Today we're going to check out Final Fantasy VII Remake on the OLED Steam Deck. We're going to go through all the settings, low, medium, high, well actually, this game only has low and high, and a few different options. Is it worth playing on the Steam Deck? All right, we're going to start things off nice and easy. We're going to lower this down to 810p. I don't know why it's giving us this weird. It doesn't let us use the full screen. Whoa, but whatever. All right, we're going to set up all the settings here to the basics and do everything at low. I want to make sure that none of these settings are off. We got 90 hertz. Nothing else is on. Nothing weird. Basically 800p. Texture low, shadows low, frame rate 120 because that's as high as it can go. I don't want to cap that in the game. Let's do HDR. This is an HDR screen. Okay, I, I might have lied about the low, medium, high. This game only gives us two options, low and high. So we're going to actually test out low and high at 800p, but then we're also going to test them out at 1080p. So that gives us at least some variation, and it does actually make a little bit of a difference in terms of how it looks, even though the Steam Deck, I know, only has an 800p resolution screen. But we're going to start things off nice and easy, keep it at low, get into the game. So right out of the gate, we're almost hitting 60 frames a second. I actually want to make sure I'm not frame capping, because that seems just a little strange. Nope, we're not. There we go, 60, 61 at low settings. Mind you, there's not much going on here. If we head into an area where there's more people and whatnot, now it's dumping down to mid 50s. I've really been enjoying playing this game though on the Steam Deck. I basically, most, most of my gameplay has been on the Steam Deck and it's been And it's been very enjoyable and it seems to be able to play 50 and above frames per second we got to find ourselves some enemies all right so in fighting situations it's dipping down into the 40s mind you high 40s but still with all the graphics going on on the screen it gets a little intensive and definitely takes a hit to those frames per second Let's end this quick. Not a problem. All right, so low is definitely not very difficult for the OLED to handle, so we're going to bump things up a little bit. All right, low was not very difficult for it, so we're going to bump both of these up to high and see how things go. Sure thing, coach. All right, setting everything to high is definitely taking a hit. It's about half the frames almost dipping into the 30s often and there's not even a ton of stuff going on on the screen right now but first man we got to save this poor little lost bird it's still pretty much staying above 30 frames per second which means if you want that extra crispy detailed life this is an option for sure you can definitely play it like this I'm pretty sure sometimes I do play it like this. If it starts to dip too low, I might change the settings a little bit, but it's definitely handling this. But the game seems pretty optimized and is handling this pretty well. All right, all high settings. Now we're in a little bit more of a crowded area. Crowded, I mean, there's like one person and a couple birds, but at least it gives us something to deal with. Had a big dip right there, but other than that, it's staying above the 30. There's another big dip right there. I might want to give it a second, see if that kind of resolves itself. But here we are. Now we're kind of more in a crowded area, getting a real life. Getting kind of a better... Oh my gosh. Getting a bit of a exam... 
Now we're in more of a crowded space, so you can kind of see how much of a dip we get in frames per second with a bunch of people around. But then, man, once you get in a little corner and you're not looking at much, it goes right above 50 again. Turn back around, all the people in landscape, and it dips into the 30s. So it's definitely kind of all over the place. And what I'd like to do is see if we can help smooth this experience out by locking in the frames per second on the Steam Deck. We'll do a little bit of a limiting. So let's frame limit to what, 36? 38, 30, mm, 34. Okay, so we're going to try locking it at 34 frames per second and see if that maybe gets us a little more than 30 frames per second, but can give us a more stable experience. I don't want to get my hopes up too much, and I shouldn't have because look at that huge dip again. But it's definitely running at a smoother 34 frames a second than it was when it was just uncapped. Man, it definitely struggles though when there's a bunch of people around. So 34 frames per second might be a little bit of wishful thinking. Yeah, it's still struggling here. All at high, 34, probably a no-go. So let's dump it down to 30 frames per second. Locked in. Let's hope for the best. Because this could be a pretty great way to play the game. Mind you, this is like about as big of a crowd as you're going to run into. So it's still struggling. If you don't mind those random dips, then you could definitely play it this way. But if you don't want any of those dips, playing it high is probably just not gonna be the way to do it. Yeah, it struggles. Struggle bus. Let's go check out some more of the town. Yeah, even locking this at 30, it just cannot maintain that 30 frames per second. All right, if we get out of the area that's crowded into a smaller play area, I kind of want to... I'm interested to see if this is going to play better. It does seem to still be struggling quite a bit, maintaining 30 frames per second. It's doing a little bit better now, but again, we're just in an area where there really isn't much of anything going on. And look at that, it's still dipping and jittering around. So the OLED is just really not wanting to play this game at high. Okay, let's try just turning one of the settings down. Let's just take shadow resolution from high to low and see if this will help us out. Oh, the whole game is glitching right now. That is so great. I've never, like, one other time when I was testing a game, I had to do a hard reboot like this. But in the probably hundreds and hundreds of hours of using the Steam Deck, this just never happens to me. This is like a huge selling point of why you should get the Steam Deck because it doesn't do this. So this is wild. All right, I guess I need a hard boot down. That's crazy. Yeah, nothing is coming up. Whoa, poor little guy. That's crazy. I can't believe that just happened. I'm going to actually uncap the frame limiter now. As we test out the low and high mixed settings. Okay, so we're still set to high, high, 800p, but we're going to take shadow resolution to low and hope that that helps a lot. It actually seems like it already is proving to be a huge benefit. Just putting shadow resolution down to low, but keeping the other one at high, we're hanging out in the high 50s. And that's even in an area with a bunch of NPCs. So this would definitely be like the Steam Deck settings. And we're getting like high 60s. Maybe my Steam Deck needed to crash and restart. So yeah, these settings are working great. 
this is fantastic. Textures are great and high quality. It's just the shadows are set lower, so it's not so intensive on the GPU. Let's do a little battle here. These are still hanging out in the high 40s. Mid 40s, now down in the low 40s, but we're staying above 40 frames per second even in a battle. So this is definitely a good option. What I want to check out now is setting the resolution higher than even the Steam Deck's screen because sometimes there is actually a noticeable difference in what things look like even though we're getting fed an 800p version of it. Textures and everything just seem to pop and are way sharper and better. I'm going to jump all the way to 1080p. So now we're at full HD. Again, I know that the Steam Deck is at an 800p resolution screen, but we're gonna check it out, see if we can notice a difference in what it looks like and if the frame rate is still good. See, like I can definitely notice that the image quality looks better when you set it to full HD, even though, yes, the screen is 800p. I will repeat, yes, it's 800p. We're still chilling above 40, right in the mid 40s. Uh, that's with no enemies or anything like that. But this is definitely playable. It dips into the mid 30s, high 30s when we're battling. But still, not bad at all. Okay, with a huge graphic like that, the fire, we dipped into the 30s. So if there were a ton of enemies and just everything was going insane, it would probably have some dips at these settings. So playing at full HD, actually what I've been doing a lot playing this game is wearing my Vitcher XR Pro glasses. It's a fantastic way to experience playing these games, especially when like on an airplane or just lounging around at the house. But this is the type of performance that I'm getting while I'm wearing those glasses with a huge screen in front of my face at full HD. So even in the town area with a bunch of people, we're still staying above 30 and mostly in the mid 40s. But now I wanna see if it makes much of a difference setting textures to low as well. Texture resolution at high, now it's at low. I kind of feel like it's not gonna make that big of a difference. Probably not a big of enough difference to make it worth doing it. I mean, now it's in the 50s. So I guess it's making quite a bit of a difference. At 1080p, setting everything to low is not a bad option because you're getting to play the game at 40 and above FPS for the most part. Sometimes it's dipping into the high 30s, but that's not too bad. Now I wanna frame limit the Steam Deck to 40 frames per second and see if we can maintain that 40 frames per second. It wants to so bad. It's just hanging out at those high 30s, but it doesn't look like we're gonna get that. Not at 1080p. So close. For the most part, it is hanging out at 40 frames per second. But every once in a while, it's dipping into the low, or sorry, rather, every once in a while, it's dipping into the high 30s. Again, this is more of like a case study if you're plugging into an external monitor, or if you want to pick up those Vitcher XR Pro glasses, you can use my code, Joshua Gray, and get 10% off all the accessories that you buy with it. And that would be greatly appreciated because I get a kickback on that and it makes it possible to make more videos for you guys. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment of any games that you'd like to see tested or if maybe I missed some settings that you would have liked to see on this game. But that's it for today. Later!